Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome! Hello! Go ahead and hit that subscribe, it'd be really helpful. Um, but today, we are going to do a makeup video. <laughs> I feel like it's been a bit of a break since I've done one, so let's do this. Plus, I've had all this stuff bought for so long now, and then just with things rolling out and other stuff happening, it hasn't gone made yet. So no, I did not leave the house to go buy this stuff right now, nor did I use essential services to order it in right now. I've had it sitting here for a while. Um, but the video today is we're going to do a half and half face. Half, we're going to use e.l.f. cosmetics and the other half stuff that I bought from Dollar Tree. So I will show you what I've bought here that are going to be the matches. <laughs> okay, so these are the products we're going to be using. So I have um, these corrector sticks. Now I know they're two different colors. One's peach, one's lavender. But I read that um, they both cover dark circles. Just this is usually more for like a light to medium of color covering dark circles under your eyes. And this is more for like a medium skin tone. So I figured they both do the same thing and I couldn't find a peach here and a purple here. So Elf is peach, LA Colors is from Dollar Tree and that will be Dollar Tree obviously. But it'll be neat to see which one works better on my dark circles too. So that's what we've got for under eyes. Um, maybe it's sticky. For covering our red spots, we've got our two, um, let's keep it in the same hands. So we've got our two green covers. This one you did see if you watched my freeze your butt off makeup challenge. I did use that um, for that. It worked pretty good. So we'll see how it looks compared to the e.l.f. Um, I have never used that one yet. And then we've got our foundation. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna try to keep the things in the same hand here. So we've got our e.l.f. Um, also disclaimer, I don't know my skin color. <laughs> so none of these colors might not match me. I tried to get them looking pretty close to each other just through the bottle, so. That's my disclaimer. Same goes for foundation. I mean, this is foundation for <laughs> concealer. I don't know what colors I'm supposed to be using. Um, sorry if the camera keeps shaking. I've got it set up kind of janky because I still don't have a tripod. But <laughs> yeah, so yeah, disclaimer, don't know my skin color. So don't come for me if those don't match. I'll learn through these videos <laughs> what actually color I should be using, but y'all just have to deal with it in the meantime. Um, but yes, so I've got the Elf Flawless, Flawless Finish Foundation in beige here. Never opened. And then for my Dollar Tree one, I have the Ariposa Liquid Skin Professional. Um, they don't have colors on them. Yeah. So that's what we're going with there. I think I did pretty good matching the colors to each other. <laughs> and then we have our concealer, which honestly those color matches did not do good. But I couldn't really find any. This was the only shade, unless I wanted to go really dark. So... That's what we've got to work with. But yeah, for e.l.f., we have the 16 hour camo concealer. And where do you find the color on this? In fair warm, fair warm, or hell warmer, it also says up there. So that's the e.l.f., it's pretty light. I was hoping to, you know, brighten up the under eyes. And then for Dollar Tree, we have the LA Color 
liquid makeup flawless looking skin um in natural so that's that so yeah you can see there's quite the difference if that comes out how it looks in the thing that was the best I could do for that one that's the only one that I think is like super far off but yeah we'll see what happens um so next we have our powders to seal it all down so for elf we have the hd powder in sheer and um for dollar tree we have the Ariposa Lux pro powder in banana um so those are also gonna be quite different so we'll see if they've got i don't know if they leave color behind or if there's any flashback with them and then from there we've got our contours um on the elf side it's my my usual elf contour palette that i use um in assorted and then for dollar tree we have the la call LA Colors Contour in Sculpt and Shape in shade medium. So we'll see what we get out of that. Um, eyebrows. I have these guys on the e.l.f. side. It is just the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in neutral brown. Um, and then for Dollar Tree, I have the Silhouette Cosmetics in Soft Brown. So that one's just got a brush. That one's got a spoolie. I don't usually do my eyebrows. You guys see that in all my videos. They're always just janky and doing their own thing. Um, so yeah. Um what's next what's next so we've got the eyeshadow i bet you can guess if you watch my videos what one i'm going to use for the elf honestly i bought this palette for this video and now i've used it for so many other videos already and there's still a bunch of try still a bunch of colors that i've never tried so that's fun actually today i'm going to start for this video, I'm going to use some of the colors I haven't tried because on the Dollar Tree side, I got this LA Colors 12 color eyeshadow in traditional, which is all like browns. So I'll get into some of the browns on my e.l.f. palette now if I don't break it first. So yeah, we got that. And I think I've got figured out what colors are going to kind of match so that the eyes are you know kind of similar in color um from there we have eyeliner which is these guys so for elf i have the elf coal liner um so it looks like its lid has a sharpener built right in which is either going to be neat or always ruin your pencil then there's like a cap on the other side. I don't know. I'm confused. We'll see when we open that package. Oh, but that is in black if I didn't say that. And then we have for the Dollar Tree side, the Billy Cosmetics Coal Eye Pencil. Um, doo -doo -doo, in black. There it goes. I was like, what color is this? So that's that and then for mascara we got these guys this is the elf um lash extending mascara in black um and then dollar tree we have the Ariposa ultimate length 24 hour glam and i'm gonna assume black i'm assuming black both never used. Most of the product is 
never used except for my eyeshadow and that color corrector none of this has been used oh i lie i used this lipstick once which brings us to lipsticks um for elf i have the liquid matte lipstick in blushing rose and then for dollar tree i have the what was the brand of this cosmic colors nude lip with uh, <laughs> nude liquid lipstick this one definitely looks brighter out of oh my god hand hold it looks brighter in the packaging we'll see how they look on because i feel like i remember this actually looking about this color and um that's what we're working with so i'm just gonna go ahead and open all these and i will be right back okay so that is all unpacked um so why did i choose these two brands i guess would be something to explain so aside from them elf being a brand that i kind of know a bit about um it also was a more affordable brand i found um most of the products range at least that i bought today range between six and nine dollars aside from the palette the palette was 13 or 14 um but that is 18 colors so i don't know it would it felt like a good price to me and then third reason dollar tree actually carries elf's old product slash like their old packages so like let's say that the 16 hour concealer now came in a blue box compared to a black box all the black box ones would end up at the dollar tree so that was kind of another reason i chose it um no i did not buy any of my elf products that i'm using today at the dollar tree but they do carry elf products so i just thought it would be fun to put the two against each other so i'm just gonna pop my hair back a bit so that it's not on my face so I look crazy yes I need to um, color my hair because I have a lovely little rogue strip growing in um but I also like the color on my ends but whatevs We'll figure that out. It's quarantine. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll dye my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are going to, um, well, start with the color corrector and um, cover up the redness here and then go for the bags. And uh, yeah, I got a, got a big spot. So we'll try to cover that up too. So let's go in, oh, how, um, okay, let's choose which side is what now. So let's say this side is going to be our elf side, and this side will be Dollar Tree. So Hello Kitty is Dollar Tree, Jurassic Park is elf. There we go. <laughs> See if I can remember that now. All right, let's start with the green. And this one is a liquid and it does apply really nicely as well, especially now that I'm using it inside instead of out in a field because it kind of started freezing on me out there. Do one more line here. Oops. So I do like so far that the elf one is just a crayon because I don't have to keep going back in. 
trying to do the same thing on both sides for the most part. Okay, let's get the stuff for under eyes on here before everything sets. So once again, the Dollar Tree one is liquid. All right, let's blend all this in. You can see how it's sitting on the skin there. Yeah, it, it all feels good on the skin, so that's a plus. But yeah, so there is elf side kind of blended out for the color concealers. You see a big thing of green there. But I mean, I usually am really red right there, so could be helpful. And then <laughs> I look like I've been punched in the eye with that lavender under my eye, but we'll see how it covers up. So next, we're going to go ahead and get the, um, the foundation going. That's, that's too light for me, isn't it? <laughs> yep, I can go darker. Oh well. Yeah, the colors actually look like they ended up matching pretty good. I didn't get as up into my hairline this time this side the dollar tree definitely lighter coverage i can still see um color coming through if i didn't put on the color corrector i definitely have a lot more red through here because i can still see some um sorry i just paused so that jeremy could come out and uh use the bathroom <laughs> So you got to come through where I filmed to do that. But he did make notes saying that um, he liked this side of my face more. He said it looked more cohesive um, compared to this one. So I guess in person, Elf is having um, a better public opinion of what's happening on my face. But yeah, we were going in with concealer. So let's do that. See, this kind of just seems like it's another foundation, but we'll work with it. See what I mean? Now it does say concealer on the um, on the package I took it out of. On the actual thing, it only says liquid makeup. So this might not be the best comparison. Because, yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely just another um, foundation, I think. Yeah, like, this one looks like I added some bronzer in all those spots and this side's like brightened. So here's where it starts getting really different. Oh my goodness. So, uh, Dollar Tree side. Help <laughs> side. I'm so like brightened up under there. All right, let's get the baking powders on these. So there's our two sides. Here's my uh, goth side and my uh, California tanner side. No, I'm kidding. Oh, but yeah, you can see how dark the, um, just fell past my camera. Do you see that? I think it was a ghost. Just kidding. Um, 
Okay, you can see how dark you've got the banana powder here and then the sheer powder here. But I think most of the color we're seeing is the actual um the actual found ugh, con concealer. I almost said conditioner. I didn't put conditioner on my face. That's weird. And from there, let's work on our contour and highlight, shall we? While that bakes. I don't bake either. That's not something I do, so. Isn't it fun to try all this stuff? But you can see these colors pretty good. I think this one down here to be that one and then that to match that. That's apparently how I'm doing my <laughs> highlighter today. Interesting. <laughs> I haven't done that before. You know what else I'm going to do just because I'm doing things that I don't usually do? Let's bake under my contour. Because why not, right? I'm, all, I'm already here. <laughs> I don't know how people do such precise little spots like I can't my nose is powder <laughs> I look like two completely different faces right now what is this oh my god know how like no like okay I shouldn't say nobody's know how most people's faces aren't symmetric I feel like I'm just highlighting that right now Oh, how about we uh, take this powder off because it's been sitting for a while. Dollar Tree style. So I still look like I'm trying to hide a black eye. Don't know what happened there. Somehow the concealer and the um, color corrector have a uh, Turned my under eye into a bruise. Got a nice contour there. I actually really liked the contour side of the palette. Um, palette, it's just the thing. But that that brown was actually really nice to use as a contour. Um, the highlight, I mean, it just comes with it, but it's just a lighter powder. Um. And this is Elf. And yeah, this side, definitely bright. I like the concealer for that. Um, I could have maybe gone a shade darker. We will give this a go. I don't know how to do my eyebrows. Generally, I just take, oh, it's not in reach. I just have an eyeshadow palette that I just usually use. I don't know how I feel about it. I just always feel weird just having eyebrows in general. And that's nothing against the actual stuff. I just, I'm not used to having eyebrows. Get it a little too thick through there. So I'll see how the other one turns out and then maybe I'll just try to do a little carve out with, um, with concealer. Which is also something I never do because I don't usually do eyebrows. So it could just potentially make it worse. But first, let's try doing the other side. Okay, well, both are definitely the wrong color. However, this side at least seems to match a bit of the red in my hair. I'll give it that. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's lighter, but it feels like the shape turned out better on this one. 
could just be that this eyebrow already naturally has a little more shape to it. Um, but yeah, I have two completely different faces it feels like right now, so. But uh, ew, I just put it in my mouth. That was gross and unnecessary. But uh, yeah. Dollar Tree? Oh. I, this line, oh my god. The like divide in my face right now is just insane. Like I like both faces if they were a whole face. But I feel more drawn. Um to this side just because it's tan it looks tan not like nothing against the elf and nothing for dollar tree it was my color choices this side i feel just seems more natural to me. whereas this one seems kind of makeup-y to me but both products very good still That's my eyelashes. If nothing else, it'll just kind of make the surface kind of tacky for the eyeshadow. Oh my god, I got all of my... I underestimated where I'd place that on the brush, and I ended up just putting it... So I think I'm going to go in with Peachy here first on the e.l.f. palette and on the L.A. colors if I I'm going to go in with this one right here I think that's going to be the most similar so that's what we're going with Look at all the fallout right here. <laughs> like you can literally watch. <laughs> oh my god. Let's uh try to brush that away. So yeah, I'm gonna go supreme for at the elf side, and I am going to go go with this bottom one here for the LA color side. So here's our eyes after the two colors. This one, my elf side, is definitely so much better color-wise and just, like, pigment, application, everything. Let's start in with the elf side again for eyeliner. So yeah, that's the actual, like, lid. It's got a sharpener built right into the lid, which seems cool until you realize every time you take the lid on and off it's cutting into um into the black then on this side it's got this like little powder puff thing i guess for like smudging it it's pretty good i think we might leave it at that I almost started doing the other eye. Sorry, that eye's watering because of whatever's in it. Cat hair, eyelash, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so there's both eyes. This one's definitely lighter. Plus, it's a thinner line because it's a thinner crayon. Crayon, whatever you want to call it. It's a thinner pencil. Sorry. And now we'll do some mascara. And 
then last but not least, let's get some lipstick on. So that's e.l.f. It feels really soft. It smells gross, but it feels so soft. Like, I feel like I have velvet on my lips right now. Plus, I like this frosted glass container it came in. It's supposed to be a matte lipstick. And then this one from the Cosmic Colors, I think it's going to be way brighter. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so my color matching wasn't so great. All right, here we go. So this is Dollar Tree. And Elf. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what what were my faves out of here? So I'd say for um for foundation, I definitely liked the e.l.f. foundation more. I just need a better shade. It was the shade that threw it all off for me. That is too light for me. Um so I'll have to get something a little more tan coloring. Um, then beige. So yeah, like that one more. I did really like this like dropper system. So that was cool. I think if I combine these two, I might have a pretty good shade because I felt like that was a little too dark. That was too light. So since I own these now, I might start combining them. Um, for... Foundation, I mean, for concealers, I really did like this. It went on so smooth. It was nice and brightening. Um, I'm definitely going to enjoy using this. This was not concealer. I'm sorry. I don't know who decided to put that on the package, but you're a foundation. However, that being said, it really did go on nice and smoothly. Um, so did the other foundation, to be honest. I just quite preferred... The overall feel of the elf um but yeah in a pinch i definitely buy this as a foundation either of them um from the dollar store for our powders honestly i really liked both so the lipsticks i actually really like both however this one feels so velvety on my lips um Neither feel like my lips are drying. I mean, it hasn't been that long. Um, both have really nice coverage. Do you want to come out and say anything? I think the elf stuff looks better. <laughs> Do you want to come look at the finish look now? Oh, this is the finish? Yeah. I know they're very different faces. <laughs> oh my god, y'all should see his face. <laughs> oh, I like this side better. You like the yeah, elf? It's smoother. Like this one. Now makeup. Megan has had me watching makeup videos <laughs> a lot, so I've kind of learned some shit. And seriously, her forehead—it looks all. It still looks flesh colored. You know what I mean? Like it, and it looks blotchy though. Like I can see. It looks like you've sweat with your makeup on. Oh, really? See, I can't <laughs> see any of that with all the lights right no, on me no, like no, this. Yeah, so. no, but yeah, I honestly, this this looks lighter and more vibrant. Like, like, like it looks a little. Do you think I need a darker shade? Like when you see it with my neck here, do you think I need a bit of a darker shade? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're a little okay, too good. light on yeah. that. And that's what's kind of throwing it. But I mean, even like the lipsticks. Like, that looks like a, a, a truer, like, I could see your lips turning that color at some point. Yeah. 
where that one definitely looks more like a makeup. Like, yeah. That, like, so it depends on what you're going for. And there we go. <laughs> this one will give you a little bit of color. Um, so don't use it. If I was using this foundation and I'd put this on top, I think it would have darkened it a little. Um, this one was really nice, nice and clear. I could have put that over top of anything and it would have wiped right off. Um, this one, what I really liked is I don't think I can show you cause I'll end up spilling now. But inside there is this little turn style and it goes through and it sweeps it all back into the holes, which is a plus for me. Cause then I don't feel like I'm wasting as much product. Um, I liked that it came with a little powder puff. This one, you've got that little tiny lid. So you'll probably want something that you can pour the powder into because it was hard to maneuver getting it out of the lid once I'd poured it in. These both worked really nicely. It kind of comes down to preference of how you want it. Um, liquid or draw, um, kind of crayon. But both cover the red really nicely, um, I think anyway. And then same deal with these. Um, feel like this one, I don't know if it just reacted with it or if it's just because it was the lavender. I have that bruising look under that eye. Whereas this one, I definitely feel like my, um, my dark under eye is gone. Um, covered nicely. The eyeliners, downside for the e.l.f. was this lid. I felt like every time I put it back on, I'm just cutting into it more um, with that sharpener. Um, this one is just your typical kind of thin pencil, just kind of standard eyeliner. Um, it did go on a little lighter. Um, it could just be because I'm now comparing it to this thicker one. So that was the eyeliners, the mascaras. I really liked both mascaras. Um, the dollar store one, I actually really like how it worked on my bottom lashes. They look nice and fluffy. It did go on feeling like, an, I don't know how a mascara can go on feeling fluffy, but it felt fluffy. Um, this one, I like what it did. Just kind of standard though. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to get either of them um for the top lashes for my bottom lashes though I really liked the Dollar Tree one um obviously eyeshadows I'm gonna elf just get the elf this one give to your kids to play with kind of thing like I just didn't get much coverage and I don't know once again I had a darker base on maybe that affected it um but I mean, I definitely go for the e.l.f. eyeshadow any day. Even if I don't put something on my eye, I at least get some color payoff. Whereas I feel like I didn't get much. And the fallout, the fallout was ridiculous. Um, contour. I definitely prefer my little e.l.f. palette that I've been using. However, the dark um, contour part of this one was really good. I really did enjoy that one, but you get this with it and this, it does nothing. It's definitely not a highlighter. Um, you could probably use it as a setting powder if you ended up going out to buy this. Um, that's, that's what I got to say about that. For eyebrows, I really liked that the e.l.f. one had an actual spoolie. Um, I like that it came finer tip. I also like that. It is a twist up and down, so I can tuck it away, bring it out. It is soft, so I do feel like I can mold it back into a thin tip for drawing the fine lines. Um, the Dollar Tree one, this brush, um, it was it's it's a nice stiff bristly brush, so it does lift your hairs when you're doing that. Um, the pencil part was actually really hard to draw with. Um, it actually felt like 
you had to actually color it in instead of just stipple it. Both were the wrong color for me. Um, that's not their fault. Although buying experience for the eyebrow ones, you could get basically this color or black. So if you don't have dark eyebrows, you pretty much can't find your color there. Um, and I think that's everything. So is it worth just going out and paying the dollar twenty five, or should you put the money into the dollar? I mean the Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> should you put the money into the Elf stuff? Um, I would definitely go with the Elf over the Dollar Tree stuff. However, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can find Elf products at the Dollar Tree. So if you're going out to find um, to find elf um, makeup anyway and there's a dollar tree around there i just pop into the dollar tree first and see if the the elf makeup that you were going to go look for is on the shelves because like i said it's nothing wrong with the actual product it's like they have an old packaging or something so let's say they used to have a black package and now it's in a blue package that black packaged one is going to be in this in the dollar store now so i'd go check that out um that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, it was fun to make. <laughs> Got to test out some new makeup things I don't usually do. Um, probably gonna add some of them into my routines now. I really liked baking under my contour. And um, yeah, like I said, hope you guys liked it. Hit the subscribe button um, to join the fun. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.